On 24th February, I had a flight back to Ukraine from Germany. I woke up with a precise plan how to get to the airport. I opened the messenger and I heard the voice messages of my mom and I realized that I'm not coming back. Харків, щось там взірвали, Київ, щось там робиться, коротше, і в нас тільки що три таких взрива було, що я не знаю, в мене всередині просто все трясеться, сиди там і нікуди поки що не вилітай. Все, люблю тебе дуже, давай, пока. If I could describe what I felt at that moment, it was something like swallowing the red pill and getting into absolutely new terrible reality. The shit that you see on TV and in the internet is really happening every day. Putin is sending bombs onto the houses of my country. Every day you are checking the news, checking if your beloved ones are alive. Start of the war for me was also the loss of physical connection to all my friends, to all my relatives. It was also about postponing all of my dreams that I had, all of my plans, all of the travels with your friends. It all vanished. And I'm not even able to see my grandparents, my cousin. I'm not able to see my dad. My mom is currently in Poland. This is the only person from my family that I can see. Since 24th February, two and a half million of people became the refugees across the Europe, across the world. There are millions of people who are not able to leave their cities because Russian soldiers are shooting into them when they are trying to cross the border of the city. More than 100 of Ukrainian kids already died. Thousands of people are dying in their basements because they can't get the drinking water, they can't get the food, because Russian soldiers are not allowing them to get the basic things for living. Just imagine how disconnected Putin is from reality, from the real needs of humanity, how far he is from the understanding of needs of his own nation. More than 13,000 Russian soldiers already died for nothing. For what? For the man who went nuts? and Russian nation will answer for what they have done for decades. Only with these sanctions, only when companies, industries, brands stop working with Russia, we have a hope that only then the nation may wake up and do something against the government. They chose, we will need decades to rebuild our cities, to rebuild our infrastructure. But we are not afraid of this. Let us rebuild everything. We will do this with all our hearts. But please, do everything now to make Russia give up, to make Russia stop this horror, this terrorism. We don't care about Russians. All we are longing to is our independence and freedom of every single person. Because what is more important in the world than freedom? I know that after watching this video, a lot of you will move on. You will live your lives further. But the only thing I would love to ask you to do, first of all, is to believe in us, to support us and to believe that every single action, every single scream to the world matters. We want to be with Europe, we want to be with USA. And that's the thing that I would love to ask you to believe that if we join you guys, we will not let you down. I know that we will win, all is gonna be good. So now being in Germany, being a refugee, I'm starting a new chapter. It sounds romantic, but for millions of people, to start this chapter is one of the hardest things they do in their life. If you can donate to Ukraine and support our families, I would ask you to do this. Every time the rocket gets into the house in my country, it hurts a lot because you understand that everything that you cherished, your favorite place on the earth, is destroyed. I hope that this video showed you better what's going on. I will leave the links for donation to Ukraine in the description below. Thank you. See you next videos. Bye.